Okay, everyone. It is December 2nd, 2012. Yesterday is just a vlog tabulous day. Um, 7.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I actually had a pretty relaxing day. I was able to kind of just chill and, uh, you know, I got stuff off my chest earlier that was kind of painful for me that I don't like admitting, <coughs> especially to the weird white web. And it's nothing personal. It's just you know, I don't like to advertise that I'm, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think very many people like putting their entire selves out there. I think a lot of the um, standard bloggers that uh, I've grown to know and love over the last three or four years or so, um, you know, they're all wonderful, fascinating, humorous, hysterical, just wonderful people. And, you know, they don't know me at all. I'm just a random fan. Um, you know, but they have a certain image that they project on their blogs. Me, I just be myself to a certain degree. Um, you know, and, you know, I've said this before. I treat this video blog, YouTube channel, whatever, as a video diary of sorts. So you're going to see me look like shit. You're going to see me looking nice. You're going to see me looking like I just fell out of bed, because most likely I did. Um, <coughs> you're going to see my kids poking around, you know. I usually try to have it just be me, though, because I don't like having my kids being plastered all over the internet, unless it's like cute pictures of them. You know, because I'm the typical parent where I'm like, look at my babies, aren't they sweet? You know, because, you know, hey, parental privilege. So, um, um, <coughs> but I usually just try to do it just me, <coughs> because it's my vlog, it's, it's not theirs, you know, and I don't want, you know, random stalkers to find my kids and be all, I don't know, I, I uh, <coughs> I have a particular person in my mind that I would love to bitch smack right now, and I don't need to add to that list. So, yeah, that blog uh, will be coming soon, probably after the holidays, maybe before then, I don't know. But yeah, <coughs> yeah I'm getting sleepy. <coughs> I actually ate something wholesome, had a tuna for sandwich earlier. Yeah, hippie chick's trying to be healthy. Um, and I say this as I light up a cigarette. But, um, you know, I kind of had a little bit of a, you know, epiphany, a ho-ho moment, and, um, you know, <coughs> this time of year I get very contemplative. And part of it is the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and New Year's, and blah, 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 you know, I am a secularist. As far as holidays go, I tend to just kind of roll with Hallmark, you know. Hallmark says the Valentine's Day is a holiday, fine, it's a holiday. You know, uh, the national government says that Thanksgiving, the every four, fourth, one, fourth Thursday of every November is Thanksgiving, and it's like, fine, i got to get a turkey by this date, and the, you know. It's, you know, I don't go by the commercialism crap as far as like running out there to get the, the name brand bird of the, of, the, of the year or whatever, you know, I don't do that shit, you know, I just do the standard fanfare, you know, the standard American traditions, if you will, you know, and, you know, I just roll with it, um, but for my family, holidays have always been bittersweet in one form or another. Um, case in point, not this last Easter, but the Easter before, my uh, father, no, it was last Easter. In 2008. No, son, no, no, no. No, I'm thinking about when Grandpa got went into the hospital. It was Easter. I think it was last Easter. Yeah. Had to have been. <coughs> uh, and it just seems like around the holidays is when my dad ends up hospitalized, and I don't know why. I can't figure it out, but it's happened more often over the last 10 years than I can probably, well, I could probably count them, but why? Um, 
you know, and, you know, there's, there's certain uh, moments in my family history, as far as my childhood, about the holidays, there's, you know, good times, there's bad times, there's happy times, there's sad times, there's times where I'm like, oh my God times, and, you know, the holidays, the holidays is kind of a mixed bag, you know, and, you, and, and you're blindfolded and you stick your hand in the bag, you don't know what kind of, what kind of holiday you're going to have. You know, but this holiday I'm starting to just kind of realize where it's like if I just kind of roll with it and enjoy the good times as they come and the bad times just kind of, you know, deal with them and then, you know, deal with them, toss, deal with them, toss, deal with them, toss, you know, then it's a little bit easier. Um, <coughs> you know, but I just... You know, I had my near-death experience um, shortly after Nathaniel was born, you know, it's, today is his birthday, you know, and, you know, nine years have gone by. That's nine times I had to look at my son and go, wow, we have gone through a lot of hell. And, um, you know, I'm intensely proud of him. He never ceases to amaze me with the things that he says, the, the way that his mind works. And, um, you know, it's just really impressive. I, it's, it blows my mind that, you know, I look at him and I'm like, oh you know, that's a part of me out there in space. And I helped create that and I housed that child in my body and nourished him for nine months. And, you know, <coughs> you know, but not only that, but like, you know, being faced with death, you know, when I was a kid, and as I got older, losing loved ones along the way, you know, it's made me more aware that life is fleeting, that things don't last forever, and um, that it hurts when you lose somebody. It hurts bad, and it really sucks. And I never know how to react to other, other people's grief, you know, so I just usually offer them a hug, offer them some tissue, some tea, you know, something where they can just kind of relax, take a deep breath, you know, because when grief strikes you, it tends to knock the wind out of your body. It tends to make you crumple up into a ball and hide for days. It, uh, it's an overwhelming sensation because you have so many things going through your mind at like breakneck speed that I usually just will try to try to comfort them, let them get it all out. You know, because that's. That's just how I would want it, you know, whenever I've gone through grief, that's how I would want, you know, somebody to hand me some Kleenex or pat me on the shoulder if, you know, if I allow it. I mean, I, I, I get very anti-touchy-feely uh, when I'm stricken by grief, and um, it, it induces panic, <coughs> and uh, it's just, it's not a very comfortable feeling for me. And, um, but if I ask for a hug and someone hugs me, I just will collapse in their arms. And, um, I do that a lot with my babies. You know, I will hold them and hug them and cry my eyes out. And it confuses the shit out of them. Um, but right now, as it stands, until, you know, things are more official, I don't really have that source of comfort is readily available to me, it's very tangible. Um, it's more abstract right now. So, um, you know, this morning I, I, I went back to sleep for a little while, woke back up and had just a really fucked up nightmare that I don't remember much and much the, the parts that I do remember, I understand what the nightmare was about. It wasn't, it wasn't even really a nightmare. It just, I think it startled me and horrified me. Um, because I thought it was about a, a loved one. I thought it was about a, a family member. Turns out it wasn't. It was about me and how I need to take better care of myself. So, I mean, ugh, it's just grotesque. <laughs> I mean, the symbolism is uh, the symbolism is what's important. You know, the the interpretation behind each symbol and each uh, thing that pops up in my mind. You left the train on, son. But uh, you know, I don't know. Just life is short, and it doesn't last forever. And I don't know. 
That's that's all I could think of as far as you know. I've had some crazy times in my life, you know, times where <coughs> you know I when I was involved very loosely, but I was involved with a Mexican gang and um, crazy times that I had on the run and. Uh, I wasn't even really on the run, I was just associated with people who were on the run, and therefore, there I was too, and I broke, I managed to break out of it, and, um, <coughs> you know, and then there was another time shortly after that where I got involved with a guy that was, a, that was involved in the Cuban cartel, and if, I wish I was lying, I wish, I wish I could just say, hey, fool, you've been punked, or whatever, but, um, you know, it's all shit that when I think about it, it's like, man, that would be a kick-ass Hollywood script, but I wouldn't want to live it. You know, that life is not glamorous, it's not fun, it's stressful. Um, for some reason, I was I was born into chaos, and now I'm seeking stability, so. But, there you go. So, there's my thought for the night. I might do another vlog in the morning after the kids go to school, but I haven't decided yet if I do need to do a little bit of holiday spruce up around the house. So, peace, love, and duck face. I love you all. Have a good night.